rolling? Yeah, we good. This is your ride, your victory parade, your triumph of you. So stick around. And oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun. We're here at the intersection of life's challenges in the day-to-day -day and the days ahead. We're here with real people dealing with real stuff. And our single purpose is to be a source of strength to others. If all the ghosts were like that, Ghostbusters are out of business. Did you ever think that, that your life would have these unfolding dreams that you're experiencing now when you came out of a broken dream. I think what it really comes down to is I think that it, we really have to believe, I think it's believing, that we really must believe that everything that we've experienced up until that moment has trained us and has given us the, the tools in order to be able to fix what's wrong with our vehicle and get back on the road and keep moving forward. Some people once asked me if I believed in reincarnation and I said I do. I just don't think you have to die in order to be reincarnated. When the moment dies With a broken life that I make for you, you know I have to understand. I have to hold myself. It's all about holding myself accountable. Right. And any day that you know, especially if you're if you're a veteran, and you're if you're speaking about veteran or anything else, you have to find something that holds you accountable in your life. You know, for me, for me, it took me realizing all I had to do is look down at my wrist, and I've got the names of my guys on my wrist. And you know what, if I feel sorry for myself and I just want to drink myself in the bottle, you know, I have, I have a dad, I have a mother, or I have a dad, I have a grandmother, I have a, I have a grandfather who care about me and have put so much into me that I'm being nothing but selfish if I don't go out and, and, and realize my full potential. Would you talk to me a little bit about um, what have, um, something uh, major in, in your life that you had to deal with that um, I think and your strength with it, it might be a source of strength for a lot of other people. I was calling my husband, telling him he was going to be late for his massage, and, and I turned on the television, and um, I saw his plane um, had crashed in, um, in Lancaster, and um, he and the student that was in the plane um, died, so I f actually found out by watching television that he had passed away that day. We like to think that we're in charge. And so when things don't work out the way we want, we think God isn't listening. But really, the, you know, the old line is some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Either way, the Lord works in mysterious ways. I haven't seen you for a while. He hasn't had me on for a while. Evidently, something I said last time didn't set too well. When you look at your life through comedy, if you're not careful, it'll become the mask. And I think for me, for a long time, it was the mask. And so my comedy was a little sarcastic. And it was quite sarcastic about my upbringing. I had to learn that my heavenly father, as I call God, and my earthly father is not the same. And it took a while to unravel that. When the man that you get your spiritual guidance from, uh, and the man who at night you're reading scripture before you go to bed, he's also the man that is uh, abusing you in very horrendous way. What I was thinking about was what profound courage it took on your part to be able to get to humor, mm -hmm. to laughter. What it, if it was a mask or a guise or whatever, right. you you think of all the shields that people pick up to right. hold back the world, right. and you picked up humor. That's a triumph in itself. Certainly it would be a mistake for me to presume to know the problems of others. Whether those are nine to five or five to nine problems, I cannot presume to know nor solve what others are experiencing. I can presume that all of us have problems and I can speak to the courage that it takes for any of us to deal with the day to day. Of all the things you can make in life, remember you make a difference.